Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're at Trillisic. Plenty of parking here at Trillisic. I've got overflow car parks as well. It's five pounds to park your car. It's free for National Trust members. You can go for a lovely walk from Trillisic here, but if you want to go around the gardens, then you will have to pay to get in. Trillisic is on the River Fowl near Truro. So you join us today at Trillisic. We're back for one of our four-part series, exploring if Trillisic is more than just a spring garden. We're hoping to see some camellias, some daffodils, and just get a feel for how much there is to look at at this time of year. So the wisteria is bare, just the skeleton of the plant. Lots of signs of new growth, that's what I love spring about. Oh, I just love seeing everything starting to come back to life. And then over the wall, a magnolia, just catching the sun. Ah, oh, the pink looks divine. And if you look closely, what actually looks like a mass of green, this is a euphorbia, a carpet of it. Looks beautiful in the early morning sun here. What a joy. So what can we expect to see? We're hoping to see some daffodils, maybe some crocuses. And one or two magnolias, camellias. We'll just have to wait and see. Not really sure what we're going to show you. I've just spotted some colour. A rhododendron out already. It's only February, so it must be a really early variety. Oh, some buds on that beautiful azalea. And up behind, look at the red of that camellia. I think there could be quite a bit to see this morning. Trillisic, as you see it today, had humbler origins. In the 1800s, it was owned by the Daniel family who made their wealth from mining. They added the portico and the lower ground floor of each wing. The upper floor, the second floor, was added at a later date. I do like this camellia. It's got a bit of variegation going on on the leaf. And a fabulous single bloom. I think this is going to be quite good fun wandering around here today. Loads of little blooms, unexpected. I didn't actually think there'd be much to see being so early in the season, but yeah, pleasantly surprised. Lovely and waxy, aren't they? And shiny. Is this a rhododendron? Man? No, it's a camellia. Is it? Nearly as big as your hand. So, a camellia has these beautiful waxy green leaves that are quite separate on a stem up to a bud. The flowers are quite open and flat, whereas a rhododendron has like an umbrella shape of leaf structure. And then the flower itself is made up of individual flowers that cluster to form like a crown. Yeah. That's a rhododendron. That's a rhododendron. Camellia. You're confusing me Have you seen this? No. Because you will hear robins singing in spring. Try copying the bird call by reading out the words below. <laughs> twiddly oo, twiddly oo, twiddly oo, twiddle. <laughs> listen, listen. I can speak perfect robin. I think he's swearing at you in robin. <laughs> Get him to subscribe. <laughs> Beautiful daffodil. Daffodils are one of the emblems of Wales. The picture above is the Cornish emblem with a chuff stood at the top. OK, 
cute, isn't it? It's so jelly. Its tail looks almost transparent as well. So the outer petals of a snowdrop open when the temperature is above 10 degrees. When it's lower, the petal shield closes to protect the nectar. So it's 13 degrees today, not too bad for a spring day. So that's why they're all open. In the view. So I've got a single red, and then up above it, you've got a double. Looks stunning. Wow. There's some beautiful splashes of colour. Some have got a bit frosted. But even if you were to come in the next few weeks, for instance, these ones haven't opened yet. I'm really enjoying my spring walk. I wasn't expecting to see so much, but I made a real effort to make it a 365 day a year garden. We're just going to take a look over the bridge, so expecting to see some magnolias out now. The furry husk of the magnolia just protects it from the worst of the frosts. Oh, look at that. There's one just bursting open. I do like these stripy ones. I think I read once that it's caused by a virus, so then the virus attacks the colour. You end up with a stripy one. Propagate it by cuttings, you get the same distortion in each new plant. Bursting with buds. Look at the cluster of buds here. In a couple of weeks' time, this is going to be absolutely covered, isn't it? Quick look in the orchard. And there's not a lot going on, is there? Completely dormant. No buds or anything. And of course, we know this is still a working press. They had it going in autumn. So although there's not much happening with the trees in here, it feels full of life because the birds are just chirping away. It's fantastic to hear. Reminds me of that song, Sarah. I can't song? quite remember the words, so I remember the, the tune. It goes... In an English country garden. Oh, hang on, I can remember the words now. No, we're not going there. No, no, no. I know the ones you remember. What do you do when you want to have a... Oh, look at that, between the branches of that tree. Magnolia's out in full bloom. Let's go and have a closer look. Stunning. It's beautiful. I think that's the star of the show, don't you? Stunning, isn't it? Yeah. Attracting lots of interest, isn't it? Yeah. Taking pictures of it. Perfect. Why not, eh? How close do you think I can get? 
Did you know that you can tell if a squirrel is left or right-handed by the way he holds his nuts? Yeah. <laughs> That's a true fact. So you can try it at home. You can find out if you're left or right-handed by whichever way you hold your nuts. Trillistic in February. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. I didn't think we were going to see very much in February, but no. spring's come early to Cornwall. A pleasant surprise, and yeah. that magnolia tree, my favourite. Oh, it's, it's absolutely star of the show, isn't it? Yeah, Looking magnificent stunning. magnolia. Very good. That'll go in the video. <laughs> that and the snowdrops, wonderful. Brilliant. So we've come to find out if Trillistic is more than just a spring garden. We visited last May. We had a lovely time in May, didn't we? Loads flowers, of flowers everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Autumn, they had the apple press going. I tasted some as well, it was very nice. That was brilliant fun. And Christmas, it looked divine. Oh, the house was all decorated with loads of Christmas trees. It was beautiful. A woodland walk with the trees lit from underneath. It was amazing. And spring. Yeah, we've seen snowdrops and daffodils, haven't we? Beautiful, absolutely stunning. So is Trillisic worth it four seasons of the year? To me it is, yeah, I would recommend it. 10 out of 10. Not that it really matters because obviously, yeah.